Let's start here. The biggest difference is color temperature. Now, there's no question that video quality is clean and detailed on both. The iPhone X shoots a lot warmer here than the Pixel 2. But this was also taken on a completely overcast day about 45 minutes before sundown. The Pixel 2's colors are more accurate, but I find the iPhone X's warmer colors appealing in this shot. Backing up, you'll notice that in almost every instance the iPhone X saturates. And with that saturation, I was left deciding whether the iPhone was sharpening pictures too much or just enough that it was pleasing to the eye. I prefer the Pixel 2's true-to-life colors here, and also here. There's a lot of punchy, sharpened esque colors back on the Honda and in the grass and the trees, more so than I'd like it to be. But here the iPhone X offers a brighter shot, well-balanced, good color, and my pick of the two. That saturation carries over in this shot as well. You have a bluish gray sky on the Pixel 2 versus the stark contrast of white on the 10. Neither phone really gets it right though since it was more gray out than anything, but I like what the 10 outputs. And if we go back to the first video set, again it's a game of saturated versus accurate. I could go with either of the two here, I think it really boils down to your preference of a punch of color versus true to life. When it comes to video stabilization, the Pixel 2 is hands down the better performer. It's almost as if the Pixel 2 has a gimbal attached to it. Its combination of OIS, optical image stabilization, and EIS, electronic image stabilization come into play, whereas the 10 solely uses OIS. But the iPhone 10 is no slouch. I've touted past iPhones to have some of the best video stabilization in the business. It's just the Pixel 2's found a way to bring stabilization to a whole new level this year. Shooting video on a bright sunny day is very similar to how its pictures shoot. If you're looking for just picture quality, I've posted a video on that as well. I'll throw a card up. Both excel in video quality, just a difference in color palette. And while the iPhone 10 saturates, I've noticed that the Pixel 2 will wash out more when the sun's out. You can see it here on the side of the building, and just overall in the background here. But at night and in low light is where you'll really see the difference between both phones. 
indoors at full brightness, my Pixel 2 offers more color accurate video. Okay, setting 10 lights brightness to 100%. The iPhone 10 leans really warm. The walls and the curtains don't display this hue of orange, and the gray isn't as dark in real life. So while I prefer the Pixel 2 here, everything changes as I turn down the brightness. Hey Google, turn my lights down to 25%. Okay, setting 10 lights brightness to 25%. At 25%, the iPhone X's video gives you the feeling that it's gotten darker indoors, which it should because it has. The Pixel 2 doesn't. Instead, you get a video with a lot of noise trying to keep everything as bright as possible. Hey Google, turn my lights down to 5%. You got it, setting 10 lights brightness to 5%. When we go even lower, the iPhone's colors are truer to life while the Pixel 2 hangs on to whatever light is available, really overexposing the night sky and honestly, it's just an unappealing shot. And when we turn everything off... Hey Google, turn off all my lights. Okay, turning off 10 lights. That noise continues. The iPhone 10 is a better pick when it comes to low light indoors. In the following night shot, the Pixel 2 overexposes the street light in the back, and the white balance is just off. It's like a yellowish, greenish aura all over the video. The iPhone 10 isn't as bright a shot, but you have true color accuracy here without overexposure. In truly difficult night shooting, the results are the same. You can see more in the Pixel 2's video, but it's accompanied by a lot of noise, overexposure of lights in the back, and a white balance that's off compared to the iPhone X's more natural looking shot. And in a brighter night scenario that offers a lot of artificial light, the Pixel 2 performs better but still does more overexposing with the street light compared to the 10, and you still get that yellow vibe in the overall shot. The iPhone 10 wins it for me in every night scene here. When we're talking about recording video with audio, well, take a listen. The iPhone X's definitely outputting at a higher volume, the Pixel 2 more muffled, as if it's trying to lower the background noise. Now let's put a voice to the microphone. I'll be testing the audio quality on the iPhone X on the left here and uh, the Pixel 2 on the right. I'll be testing the audio quality on the iPhone X on the left here and uh, the Pixel 2 on the right. In this instance, the audio is a lot louder and clearer on the Pixel 2 from behind the rear camera. But when the audio is being directed the other way, audio check one, two. Again? Audio check one, two. Audio check one, two. Again? Audio check one, two. Audio check one, two. One more time. Audio check one, two. Audio check one, two. One more time. Audio check one, two. And in a controlled environment, right in front of my Sono soundbar. The iPhone does a better job here, and in a lot of ways that's where it counts for me. I use my rear camera a whole lot more than the front. I'd like to be able to turn on my main camera, or cameras, in the rear and have great audio coming from the subject I'm pointing it towards. But it's important to note that the Pixel 2 has really good audio coming from behind the camera, which is useful for narration purposes. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk and then just, you can just repeat like audio check one, two or whatever. Or if you're using your front camera for things like Skype or other video calling slash conferencing. 
While video quality had similar characteristics to its photo counterparts, the Pixel 2 more accurate shots during the day and during overcast lighting, the iPhone X a tad of saturation here and there, but still great in almost any lighting condition, I'd give the nod to the iPhone X for its video quality overall, especially at night. Although if you plan on recording video with a lot of movement, the Pixel 2 wins in the stabilization department. Either phone will give you great results in adequate light, the Pixel 2 more color accurate, the iPhone X warmer and sometimes over sharpened, but in low light and at night, the iPhone X gives you more well-rounded results in video during any time of the day, indoors or out. Um. <laughs> Are you cold? I'm always cold. <laughs> it's a cold town.